Now that our parent project has been created, let's create three OSGI bundles. One, the common bundle, which will actually have the interface for the API. A service bundle, which will be the implementation of this bundle. And finally, a client bundle, which will invoke the service from the service bundle. So let's get started. Right click, new project, Maven, Maven project. Click on next, choose the default arch type. Notice the project directory is the parent is the directory of the parent farm project and we're going to call the project as common. The package is going to stay as common because we want this API to be exported. NetBeans is generating all the required files for us. and see the palm.xml is automatically updated with the common project here. Now let's expand the source packages of common. Right click here and add a new Pojo class or a Java interface. Call this as user auth service and click on finish. And to this interface, um, I'm going to generate some uh, template code. This service actually has uh, two methods, a login method and a register method. Um, the login method allows the user to log in to the user registration system and register method, of course, allows you to register into the uh, registration system. So now let's build this package. So I can go to the parent project, right click here and say clean and build. Let's look at the generated manifest information. Go to files, expand common, target, common.jar, metainf, manifest.mf. As you can see, export package here very clearly shows that everything in this package is exported and our user auth service, which is this interface, is automatically in this package. And then the OSGI uh, the Maven bundle plugin goes through the package list and automatically generates the import package for it as well. So this concludes the creation of our common bundle. Let's create a simple service bundle which is going to use this common package and actually implement the service. So go back to the projects tab, right click, new project, yet another Maven project. I'm going to take the defaults here and call it as simple service. Notice the project location is still the directory of the parent farm and I'm going to add the impl package here. By adding the impl package anything in this package will not be exported by default. So let's click on finish. And you can see the project is being created for us. Let's expand the source packages and this in this package right click here let's try one more time right click new and this time we're going to create a java class so let's call this class as user auth service impl and click on finish now this user auth service impl is going to implement my user auth service and let's see if i can figure out some dependencies here Right click here, it's going to search the dependency at Maven repositories. Since the common package has already been deployed to my local repository, it's resolved from there. Click on add. Once the project scanning is done, I can say add import for it. And again, I have some code template here, which will automatically generate the code of the user auth service impl. And you can see, well, let me fix the imports first. And you can see in this service, I'm storing all the credentials, the username and password in memory. So every restart of this bundle, we will lose all the credentials, but it's a valid service implementation though. So now that our service is created, let's add a simple service activator over here. 
So right click, new, create a new Java class, call it as simple service activator and click on finish. This simple service activator is going to implement bundle activator. Going by the same logic as we did earlier, let's resolve the dependencies first. This bundle activator is going to get resolved from org OSGI core version 4.2.0 and as you remember we have already specified this dependency in the parent palm.xml is getting resolved over here. Now that the dependency has been resolved let's get the import rolling here and here again we have some code template for you. Let's resolve the imports. Okay. And then in this class, as you can see, this service activator is going to register the user auth service by this name and is actually associating with the service impl that we just created so that clients can access this from the OSGI registry later on. And as a convention, since we want to expose this as a service bundle activator, we're going to generate a properties file over here. So right click on the project, simple service, new, properties file, and again showing you the magic of uh, convention over configuration, just one file. Click on finish here, and here again, I'm going to use a code template. I'm saying my bundle activator is in this impl package, and its name is simple service activator. So let's save all the files, right click here, and I'm going to say clean and build. This is going to build my project and it's also going to deploy the bundle into the OSGI bundle repository. Okay, so this is success for us. So now let's look at our files and let me show you the generated uh, meta information. Target and in the meta inf, let me show you the manifest information. So a few points that I would like to highlight here. First of all, the Maven bundle plugin looked at our OSGI.properties file and it found that the bundle activator is specified over here, so it added that. Second thing is it scanned through the classes and saw what packages are required, so it included them in the import package. And finally, just using the convention that anything that is in the impl package, it did not include it in here, so you don't see any export package over here. So that concludes our simple service bundle and already being generated for us.